Hey, what is going on everyone? This is I Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 18 amazing iPad tricks that you probably didn't know existed. These are tricks that you can perform on your iPad on iPad OS 13 and a few of them can be performed on iOS 12 as well. So if you don't have iPad OS, try them. They will probably work a lot of them on iOS 12 as well. So these are tricks that will help you perform a lot of things like faster and easier on your iPad. And of course, most of them are pretty hidden. So if you don't see a video like this, you probably won't even notice them and won't know that they exist and you can do them on your iPad. So here's my list of 18 iPad tricks that you probably didn't know existed. Now starting off with the first one, I will show you guys how you can watch videos on the picture in picture mode on YouTube on your iPad. So you probably have noticed that if you go to your iPad and you go to Safari, you try to play a video on YouTube, it will automatically open that video on the YouTube app. Of course, if you have the app installed on your device, that way it won't allow you to enter the picture in picture mode. But what you need to do is just open youtube.com and tap those letters right there tap on request desktop website and once it shows the desktop website tap on website settings right there and choose here request desktop website so what it does is that it automatically enters the desktop website of youtube every time you open youtube on your safari app and then from here it's pretty easy all you gotta do is just tap on the video that you want to play and once it starts playing, just go to the full screen mode and then you will have the button right there at the top, which allows you to go to the picture in picture mode. So just tap right there. Now, of course, you can get out of there and you can have the video playing on the picture in picture mode from YouTube. And of course, you will have all the controls here and everything that you need. And that's really, really awesome. The next one is a trick on the iMessage app. So when you're on a conversation on the iMessage here, you have your conversation, of course, you want to type a message here. So what if you have like a message that you want to resend or something, you don't have to type that again or go ahead and copy that. You can just tap and hold on any message and just drag it here at the field and it will basically automatically copy that message right there. So if you want to resend that, you can do that from here or even a video or a picture all you got to do is just drag it and just release it right there and it will add it to your message so you can go ahead and send it quickly from here on the maps app if you take a look right here at the bottom corner you will see that it will show the current weather of the location that you're looking at and also the air quality index right there now to do that you will need to go to settings and, and have these two enabled here air quality index and weather conditions as well but that's of course old i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know about that but what you might not know is that you can also take a look at the detailed weather forecast for that location simply by 3D touching on the weather right there. So on the corner, just 3D touch. And as you can see right here, it will show you the basically the city that you're in. And it will also show you the detailed weather forecast for that day. When you're on Safari, you know that you can pinch in like this to see a preview of all the tabs that you have open and you can pinch out to open the tab back again. But do you know which, like which tab you're actually opening? So you can see if I go like this, it shows me three tabs that I have currently open. I can pinch out as I showed you to open the tabs, but which will it open? What you can do is just pinch out underneath any of the tabs that you want to open. So if I want to open Google there, pinch out here, it opens Google pinch out here it will open youtube or pinch out here in the middle to open the middle tab on the calendar app on your ipad you can quickly create an event simply by 3d touching on any date that you want simply 3d touch on it and just add here like a name of course for the event and you can go ahead and create an event as easy as that now what if you did that wrong you want to move the date all you got to do is just 3d touch again and you can just drag it and place that event on any date that you would like to when you're on the keyboard on your ipad you know that with ipad os 13 you will have now the new floating keyboard which you can access simply by swiping like this and you can see it will take a few tries to get it right but 
actually we have another easier method to do that. What you can do is just tap and hold the keyboard button right there and it will show you a button that says floating. Just go ahead and tap on that and it will show you the floating keyboard. Of course, going back to the bigger keyboard is easier. All you gotta do is just grab it and just bring it down here and it will take you back to the bigger keyboard. When you're looking at an email on your email app, you get a link or someone sends you something and you want to open that link, but you don't want to get out of the mail app. What you can do is just tap and hold on that link, whatever that is, and you can just drag it right here on the split screen and create a split screen mode directly from here. As easy as that, you can take a look at that link that you have on the email without having to leave the email app at all. Now, when you're on the email, you know that you can swipe like this and you will have different actions right here. You can reply, you can flag or delete an email. But if you want to go ahead and just mark an email as unread, what you can do is from here, just swipe like this. So here you swipe to show the reply on that. And if you swipe like this, when you're on an email, you know that you can swipe like this and it will show you the reply, the delete and the flag button as well. But did you know that you have another gesture? You can actually swipe from the left to the right. And it will show you a button right here that lets you mark that email as unread. So as easy as that, you can do that pretty quickly from here without going to do going to have to do that from the email list. And that's pretty, pretty cool. So you're on an email, we have another action here. So if you swipe from the middle here, like this, you can see that it will show you the email list, but you can also swipe once again, and it will take you right back to your mailboxes. So you can see just swipe from the left to the right, and it will take you back without having to reach for the top right there to go out of an email to the emails list and then back to the mailboxes. When you're on your photos app, you know that when you're scrolling down like this on your photos, you can tap at the status bar and it will take you right back to the top. But if you have like a long list of photos and you want to go back down, you can just not like scroll like this. It will take a lot of time. What you can do if you're at the top, just tap the album right here once again. And as you can see, it will take you right back to the bottom. So right there at the top, right here at the bottom of the pictures. And if you tap once more on the album, you can see it will take you back to the album. So as easy as that, you can get out of an album just by tapping here. It, it, it will go down first and then on the second tap, it will take you back to the photos albums. When playing music on your iPad, you will get the player right here and you will see here the name of the song as, as well as the name of the artist. You know that if you tap on the name of the artist, it will give you other options here. So it will show you a menu that allows you to go to the artist or you can go ahead and tap right there to go to the album that the song belongs. So you will see the complete album from where that song is as easy as that. On the files app on iPadOS 13, when you're within a folder and you open like a picture or something, a file to view, you can see I have it here on the view. I'm previewing this file, but what if I want to see the other files that are in the folder? I can just tap right there, that button. And as you can see here, it will show me a list of all the other files that this folder contains. So I don't have to remove this. I don't have to go back to the folder. I can just do it from here. Just tap right there and it will show me the complete list of the files that are currently within that folder. From the files app, you can also go ahead and open any folder that you want on the split view. So all you got to do is just tap and hold the folder, just drag it and you can as easy as that go ahead and open that on the split view. So if you don't want to get out of a folder, but you want to open another one, you can just drag it to the split view and you can have both of them opened at the same time. Now, when you're browsing your files on the files app and you want to go back to the front page of the files app, basically to your location or so, you don't have to go every time to go back here. What you got to do is just swipe like this from the like from the left to the right on the bottom right here and it will show you the list of your locations and of course your favorites and your tags. So you don't have to go like back like this. Just swipe here and it shows you all your locations and everything you need. When you go to your tabs view, you will have here a search bar. Now, if you tap right there and you search for any of the tabs that you have open. So if I search for Apple here, you can see it will show me the Apple tab. I can open the app, the tab, of course, from here, 
or I can tap and hold the X button right there and I can go ahead and close all the other tabs. So right now, all the other tabs that have been opened in the background will be closed, just the Apple tab will remain here. You probably know that you can pin notes on the notes app. You can go ahead and tap right there on the note on the share button and just go ahead and pin that note. Or what you can do is do that faster simply by swiping from the left to the right on any note that you want. So just like this, it will show you the pin button and you can go ahead and pin any note at the top of the notes list. So of course you have like different methods to do that, but this is the easiest and of course the fastest way to do that. And as you probably know, you can scan documents with the files app and the notes app as well. But a cool feature of the notes app is that it has like a button on the control center, which also allows you to quickly scan any document. So you need to quickly do a scan. All you gotta do is just open the control center, force touch on the notes button right there, click on scan document, and as easy as that, you can go ahead and scan any document and that will be saved on the notes app. So that is it for this video guys. These are 18 iPad tricks that are pretty cool and probably a lot of you guys didn't know that they existed. I hope you guys learned something new from this video. Hopefully you will use a lot of these tricks on the daily use of your iPad. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.